<laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> Little did we realize the resistance has put a good agent on us. <laughs> <laughs> so, would I know if she's turned my turret back on mine without going back over to my turret? Not without going to the yeah. turret, yeah. Yeah. The, the turret's kind of irrelevant when they're already attached to us. Yeah, but if we don't open the airlock door, and I just so happen to fire on the airlock connector to their ship... Depends on how they're attaching, which is yeah, the Yeah, that's question. what I'm wondering, too. How is the attachment point here? Well, you don't have eyes on it. You don't know. I do. But yeah, but you can't get me on a comm. All right. Yes, I can. Not that one that everybody can't hear. Well, <laughs> you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Speaking of which. Wait, doesn't the Wookiee have a comm? Yes. And I have a comm in the helmet. Yes. Can we have a private conversation? Give me a computer, uh, intelligence computer. Both of us or yep. just me? Yeah, intelligence computer there, Wookiee boy. <laughs> oh boy, I'm really good at this one. Chat star. It's a success. <laughs> <laughs> Four. All right, you secure your line of communication to him as you're walking to the turret. No, I'm I'm gonna Are stay just... right there in the cockpit. Okay. Just where they can't hear, and I'm gonna ask him what the connection point looks like, and if the turret would be able to reach it. Wits crafts. I am, however, good at that. Channel beeps and Zidane opens it. Uh, five. Yeah. yeah, all right. That was a good roll. I mean, I mean, I don't have that big of a dice pool. <laughs> uh, well, Zidan, I've got 10,000 credits. If you can give us permission to come on board and collect those items. I'm going to say, hold on. We haven't finished having our conversation. Give us another minute. It's a, a top access for you guys. Okay. And it looks like side access for them. So this is like they're actually basically flush with our ship rather than like a docking ring or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So the turret. Uh, the turret hit. is basically touch almost touching their ship. Yeah. It's, it's only a couple meters away. Yeah. At the top side turret. Yeah. And I could hit their connection point. And blow a hole in your own ship. Yeah. I mean, you could actually probably hit them somewhere else, like the cockpit, and create a reverse vacuum kind of thing, pull them back. I was Better thinking the that. cockpit. I legitimately was thinking I'm going to turn I don't know that if weapon on the cockpit. In a position where you could get a line, there might be part of the ship in the way. But either way, we don't really need to do that. Can I get a line on the cockpit, GM? You're not in the turret. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move to the turret. You're at the thing, yeah. and uh, it turns green. Okay, so there's a positive connection. <laughs> yes, yes, Tim. Mm -hmm. I, I could definitely uh, Spartan this if I wanted to. <laughs> but uh, hmm. I don't really feel the need to kill all these guys. Except that I'm just not liking how they've dictated terms to us. It's a good thing you have your helmet on. Because they're, the flare of their ion engines is like right in your face. So I could shut down their engines. But not that guy. If you shot that, you do disable them, then we can just run or circle around them and kill them. See, I'm not looking to do. I'm not looking to kill if I don't have to kill at this point. The other side opens. Yeah. And there's a human, like as tall as you are. Right. On the other side. And he's holding up a bag. And he reaches inside the bag. And for a moment, I'm sure your finger twitches on the trigger. Well, I mean, our side's still shut. Uh. And he lifts up a card stick. Yep. And he starts tapping on the window. <laughs> I would like to inform Zidane that we've decided to renegotiate. You hear blaster fire. Well, Is my turret online? No. Oh, you son of a bitch. Can my stormtrooper... Can my stormtrooper... Um, it is an intelligence crafts roll if you want to try to hardwire it. And get around it. Well, no. What I'm wondering right now is, is my stormtrooper armor space worthy? No. no. 
No. That's why they have a different style of armor for yeah. space troopers, basically, in next suit. To keep, can I tell what the sound of the blaster, like, can I tell by the it sound? It came from the cockpit. Yeah, but can I tell by the sound what the blaster was? Wits firearms. Does my helmet help me with the perception of hearing? It would, but the, the distance is going to penalize you, so we'll call it even. This would be a really great time to have that, like, technophile or whatever specialty, about, you know. Yeah. Quality for firearms. Two. I believe she has one. No, no, it's a holdout blaster. Sounded like a stun bolt, though. Okay. Well, if it's a stun bolt, I don't give a shit. Wits crafts. <laughs> <laughs> Intelligence crafts. Six and one for me. It doesn't really matter. Make do? Will that help me? No. What about that tool case that I got from the ship? Well, I'm not still carrying that. Never mind. Four. All right. You make serious progress on taking on removing the cockpit overrides. Okay. You're not there yet. Once again. What are you doing? Um, I'm uh, looking at the guy through the like porthole kind of thing and just giving him the like, nope, not happening kind of look. So, shaking my head in the negative. He looks kind of sad, and uh, behind him, a Bothan appears, and uh, they appear to be speaking. And he's like, shakes his head and sort of shrugs his shoulder. And uh, the cred stick is in his hand for one at one, like at one, and then it's not there in a second. Hmm. Another four. Like, does it appear that this guy, like, sleight of handed it, that the bottom sleight of handed it, or that it was just a hologram all along? Wits composure. Wow. Uh, that would be five. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he just sleight of handed it. Okay. Because if they were, if, if they had, if it had been a hologram the whole time and I was able to verify that, then I might just <laughs> open the door at this point. Uh, uh. Somebody with sleight of hand reminds me of some great moments in gaming where somebody's like, yeah, I'm going to sleight of hand that giant weapon they're carrying. No. I'm just kidding. Oh, I just remembered. I didn't really have to listen to hear what kind of shot it was. His energy clip was discharged at the time, so the only person who had a pistol. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yep. Wits composure, please. Just him? Yeah. My helmet help? Yes. God bless that helmet. <laughs> well, the bomb rack probably isn't usable right now. Unless it's like a limpet mine. This dispenser. In which case, yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. Five. Not while they're still attached. Right. A limpet mine, they can just attach and then detach and fly away. And then detonate it later. You got five, you said? Damn. All right. You're sitting here working on it, and you finally bypass it. Turret controls come on. And you're like, ha-ha. And you look out, and you see a little thing floating away from their ship. It appears to be attached to a much bigger thing. Is it floating towards our ship? Yes. Well, I'm not seeing it. And it appears to be, well, you almost didn't see it. Like it's keeping close to their ship. Right, can, I, can I have a guess of what it might be? By the size, could be a droid. How is it attached to the much larger thing? With an appendage. Okay. What is the much larger thing? Remember, I understand and no explosive ordinance. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it's an ion bomb. Just ion? That's cool, because I'm going to kill their engines here in a second. Uh, yeah, but if we can't move, then they can't move. <laughs> <laughs> then it becomes a long, drawn-out fight, and I'm well, not against it. Well, actually, no. If their engines are destroyed, and ours are disabled by an ion blast, and theirs is disabled by the same ion blast, then eventually 
our systems will come back online. And theirs will not, because their engines will not be coming back online. But either way, I don't know anything about it, so yeah. what are you doing? Based on the distance of the ion bomb and my knowledge of ion bombs, if I was to shoot it now, would we, would we be caught in the blast? Yes. And so would they? Yes. Shoot their engine first, then shoot the bomb. Well, no, my other thought is to shoot the droid. Because Don't then, miss. Then the mine can't move. If I shoot the droid, it'll just start floating. But an object in motion stays in motion unless Moment. acted on by an outside force, which means that the direction that the droid was moving is where the bomb will keep floating. Yep. But we're still in the gravity well or just outside of it? No, you guys are you guys are still in the gravity well. You're in orbit. Yeah, I'm going to go with engines. It disappears. Under us? Well, it disappears out of your line of sight. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, engines are going down. Everything I got. Okay. This is a lot of dice. Just an FYI. I'm so glad he hasn't notified anybody what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Be prepared. It's going to be a party here in a second. They're closing their side of the airlock. Yep. <laughs> Don't poke <pull> my ship! <laughs> Stop poking holes in my ship. All right. yeah, I just got this thing back. I will kill all you when <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> if you wake up. <laughs> Mind you, an iron bump's going to shut off our life support that we're on also. Yeah, but we can fix that. All right. This is happening. Can somebody pull me up the damage stats for this gun that I'm about to fire? All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Light turbo lasers. Uh, three dam three dice and plus six if it hits. Minus two AP. So it gives me three extra dice. It gives you three dice, and if it hits, it does plus six damage. Best part is they have no defense right now. Yep. Five. No tens. So that would be 11 damage with minus 2 AP. Directly to the end. Alright. And the shields can't stop it because we're in And I can't wait to see the chain reaction from the ship exploding that we're attached to. Yep. Well, he did just say that they closed their end and so at least we won't get the backlash. Close. Or whatever they call it. Backflash. The firefighter kind of problem. Backdraft? Backdraft. That's oh. the word. <laughs> Eventually. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it in four. Okay. Prepare all subsystems. Well, this is gonna get this is gonna get wacky. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too late to warn us about what's happening. Yeah. Will this wake us up? <laughs> well, on the bright side, you might never wake up. Oh wait, that's not right. Yeah, you guys are gonna take. Six boxes of damage. We are? On the ship, yeah. Okay. Does uh, that include these guys? Are you keeping track no. of that, Tim? Okay. The ship is taking six boxes of damage. Raj. Here we go again. Uh, no, there's no ship for you to fire at. Oh, he completely annihilated it? Oh. Because <laughs> it's a civilian transport. Oh. That well, you just fired on with military-grade arm weapons. <laughs> at point-blank range. Well, it was just all this, like, thing about them, like, uh, intercepting us and everything. I was just assuming that they were also a bounty hunter ship. I guess not. See? This is why it's my ship. Because it's freaking awesome. Uh, so with a durability of 10, that means we have four boxes left? Oh, the durability is 10? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Reroll. <laughs> no, then none of that damage gets through. All right. Boo! Then we're good. Awesome. Your upgraded armor is going to protect you. Woohoo! And, and that's there's... why the spacer job really rocks when you have a ship. So now my thought here is since there's no, no one else or nothing commanding that droid anymore as it stops. Uh, no, it's probably uh, 
You're getting no sensor telemetry from the bridge because you had to disconnect yourself, and it's not in your line of sight. Well, then I'm going to radio. Um, um, think about this for a second. You have a droid on the side of our ship that their ship just exploded on. And the ion bomb hasn't gone off, amazingly enough, but there's probably nothing left of that droid. Which means we need to get the hell out of here. So I'm going to get on the radio and say, get the hell out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Viva Soset? No, Gale. All right, well, uh, now that I'm probably uh, blinking bright spots out of my eyes, yeah. I'll try to find my way back towards the cockpit and see who's still standing. Viva I'm celebrating. Is. Viva is. Oh. Zidane is slumped in the chair, unconscious. I did exactly what my character set out to do. I blew up as much stuff as possible. <laughs> this, is a, this is a win for I'll my character. I'll go ahead and pick Zidane up and take him to his bunk. And lock him in it. No. Take his weapon away. His weapon's already taken away. You're unconscious, <laughs> unconscious, Mr. Metagamer. Sweet Christ on a cracker. This is her powering up the hyper, like hyperdrive, mm. running because it's a no. Extent, no, no. Oh, is this the medicine test? Hmm? No. Let's see. She will now. You guys, do you guys have a Navi computer on here? Um. Let's see. I mean, we or ha yes. do you have a yeah, we one? have an advanced Navic computer. Okay, and does that gives a plus one or two. Uh, I think the advanced is a plus two, okay. but I didn't write that down. Just you get to the cockpit, all celebratory, as she finishes up her calculations to go to light speed, and uh, roll credits. <laughs> almost. Oh. She's like, I'm take I'm just gonna I'm taking the vector back to where you guys came from. Maybe not the best idea. But you know, Viva can uh well, our pilot will be awake by then and Viva can give us new coordinates. Okay. And remember it was multiple jumps, so we're only going back to the last place that we jumped at. So yes. that's middle of nowhere, not back to the university. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I need to open up a file. And a, as a wise man named Jane once said, I'll be in my bunk. My ship is awesome. Yes, you have a very nice ship. Now shut up. <laughs> okay. Very good. Join us next time when we will conclude this adventure. And maybe the whole party will be conscious for that. Who knows? <laughs>